Hey everyone, Shannon Kinney here. I'm the founder and client success officer at Dream Local Digital. And I'm here to talk to you today about a blog post we recently released about unleashing your marketing potential, 10 steps to fuel growth in a high growth business. So this is something that I think about all the time. And a lot of the clients that I work with directly in our coaching, high ticket coaching programs and our larger clients we're all trying to grow our businesses, me included. And so we're thinking about constantly exchanging information, ideas about different offers, different things that we're doing to really fuel high growth in our business. And online marketing is such a big piece of your success in this area that I wanted to try to break down what are the 10 steps to fuel that growth for you. There's more detail in the blog post in this post here, but I've got them here in the video for you too. So the first one is crafting a clear strategy. This is such an important part of the process and many people wanna skip right over this step. They'll say things like, I'm too busy. I don't wanna write it down. I need leads right now. Can't you just place this ad or do this thing? And really um, you're hurting yourself and shooting yourself in the foot and making everything take longer and cost more if you don't come up with a clear plan in the beginning. Now, what should that plan entail? What are the goals of your marketing? You wanna grow, but in what way? Do we need more revenue? Do we need a certain kind of customer? Are we expanding our geography? Are we introducing a new product or service? What is it you want to happen? What's your goal? Second thing, target audience. Who's your who? And make sure, are they, what's the total, total addressable market here? Like is, are there a lot of ways to find this who? Where are they? Um, who are they? What are their pains and their dreams? What problems do you solve for them? And how do you help them achieve something that they want to achieve? Freedom, money, time savings. What is it that you do? The next thing is key performance indicators. What are the things that you want to see happening that indicate to you that your online marketing is working? Uh, phone calls, people um, kidding, kick, clicking map and directions on your Google listing, meaning they're driving to you. Um, people walking into your store, people buying a certain product, um, subscribing to your email list, attending an event you have. What are the KPIs that tell you that your marketing is working or not working. Your clear strategy should be a roadmap, a guide uh, and prioritize, help you prioritize all of your marketing efforts and um, help you really know what's on, on, on deck for you and your team. In our case, we mapped out for our different target audiences, what events are we doing? What, what topics are we covering by quarter? So all of us know what pieces we need to do to contribute to the overall success of the marketing plan. It's so easy because we have a roadmap. Next thing you need for a high growth business to have successful online marketing is a strong online presence. That's not new, but make sure, does your website work well on mobile? is does your website, your social media channels, your brochures, your signage on your store, do they all look the same? Do they all support each other? Make sure that you're really putting your best foot forward and a polished and professional face on your business. We're working with one restaurant right now who's really struggling to uh, sort of elevate their game. And really when you're doing, they're just posting specials every day on Facebook that's not gonna really give the business an edge or send a big polished professional message out to the world, right? To attract more people in. Meanwhile, they've got a great chef and such an awesome story to tell. So make sure you've got a strong online presence and compelling content. Share that story. Talk to your target audience in a way that solves their problems or helps them achieve their dreams and share why are you uniquely qualified to solve this, this for them. Why should they eat at your restaurant, buy a car from you, buy furniture from you? Why you, why now, right? That's what you do in your compelling content. Leverage social media. It is a fantastic outlet if you use it correctly. Again, you've got to put your story out there. You've got to understand how to maximize 
um, your presence on each different social network, but leverage social media as an awesome amplifier of your message. Embrace email marketing. Don't give up on email. It can still work for you if you do it right. And every single one of you watching this video should be building your email list. Even if you're not ready to send email yet, start building that list. Collect email addresses. Start thinking about what you could send each month that adds value to your audience and helps them buy more products over time. Don't just sell. Add some value too. Number four. Invest in paid advertising. This is an important one because it can really help you when you're in a high growth mode and you're trying to bring more customers in. Paid advertising is like fuel to throw on the fire. It can bring in more audience faster than organic methods can, and it is a highly effective tool when it's done correctly. The next thing is we want to optimize for conversion. And what I mean by that is what is it you want people to do and send them to a place where they can quickly do it. If you're trying to sell a specific pro product or service, like let's say you're selling a mattress, a type of mattress, you don't just send them to the homepage of a furniture store with couches and chairs and mattresses. If you want to sell mattresses, you send them to a page only about mattresses and a clear button that they can fill out to call to come in and visit or to learn or compare those mattresses. So make sure you have a compelling headline and make it super fast and simple for somebody to find what they need when they click on your content or your paid advertisement. And the last tip I'll give you for optimizing for conversion, make it work well on a mobile device. Don't write 20 pages and paragraphs of text, make it clean, get it to look good on a phone, and then you'll do better. Next thing, Make sure you're tracking and measuring your results. So often I'll talk to businesses that use the same ads or the same plan or the same content all year long and they can't understand why it wasn't working. And I'll say, well, out of all of the stuff that you did, which ones really got the most audience or uh, which posts are driving the most traffic to your website? And they'll be like, what? means they're not measuring their results. So look at the traffic in your website and make sure it's coming from social. If you're spending a lot of time on social or email or whatever you're spending your time and money on, make sure it's actually building your email list, making that phone ring, driving traffic to your website, whatever it is that you're trying to do. And I'll tell you, if your ads are too vague or your content's too vague and you're not trying to drive people somewhere, it starts making it harder to measure results. That means your marketing isn't optimized and you don't have a clear enough plan on top, okay? So if you're tracking and measuring results and you're not sure it's really working, go back to that plan and then work your way down this list again. Next, stay agile. Um, I say this because industry trends change, um, networks come and go, email deliverability rules change, um, your audience, your target audience's needs change. So make sure that you're ready to adapt and, and like work with your audience as things change um, so you can stay ahead of the curve and keep that high growth still happening. And then finally, don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, CEOs and marketing leaders of high growth companies, we are busy. And sometimes you don't have time to do something and sometimes you don't have expertise to do something or you might not have the expertise to do it fast and right. You know, I know that there are a lot of areas in my business where I'm not the top expert and I have no problem saying that. And in your case, bring in some professional help when you need it to make sure that you are optimizing not only the money that you spend, but all the time that you spend on your marketing. Your marketing is the fuel that's gonna drive your growth. Make sure you're investing wisely. Now, if you're a busy CEO or a marketing leader and you want to find your tribe, you want to have a community where you can talk to each other to share what's working, what's not working, you want to get direct access to experts that can help you, um, I really want to encourage you to join our Strategic Growth Accelerator group. We've got a great tribe in here that is getting access to one-on-one -on -one brainstorming sessions, 
They're getting alerts from me when things are changing as a fellow high growth CEO. They're getting a ton of resources and content on marketing and it's only $27 a month. So if you are interested in being part of our tribe of high growth um, CEOs and marketing leaders, join us today. And otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Talk soon.